What is up guys? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. Thank you all for coming back and as promised, Luna here is out for today's video. She only had those two short weeks off of there, but I promised you she'd be back in these videos and here she is. And in today's video, guys, we are going to discuss the average size, weight, height, basically how big a Jack Russell is going to get. Plus, if you stick around until the end of the video, guys, I'm gonna cover a few things you might have not thought of that's worth sticking around to find out. So let's start diving right into it. We're starting right now. Like we said, guys, welcome back to the Terrier on YouTube channel. Luna and I appreciate you being here. If you're not a subscriber, consider doing so now so that you can watch all of the newest videos every Sunday at 11 a.m. and continue to learn about the Jack Russells with Luna and I here making the videos for you. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on the videos as well, guys. It goes a long way for us with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that notification button and never forget to check out TerrierOwner.com. And now, guys, I want to start diving into some of these sizing questions that that I see it actually come up all the time on the Terrier Owner website. It's one of our most frequently visited blog posts that we have. So I figured it's probably important to make a video that goes with it since so many people are curious. And while I was trying to come up with the reasons in my head that people would be so curious about the size of this dog, I realized that it's probably only for a few reasons that you would be, you know, that curious about how big a Jack Russell is ultimately going to get. Reason number one, I assumed that maybe you just really wanted a small dog. So, you know, with that being the case, if you just don't like big dogs you are probably researching it making sure that this dog doesn't get you know too big or out of your comfort zone for what you're trying to adopt reason number two that i thought of was maybe you live in a you know a tight quarters or a small apartment or you live in the city to where it's a little bit more difficult you know to provide this dog the space that they need which is a great reason to be curious on how big a jack russell gets in general and reason number three maybe you just adopted a jack russell or you already have it lined up and you want to know, you know, what you need to get, what size of items and gear. All are great reasons. I plan to address them all, but I want to start off with the basics. And that is, you know, you're looking at a full grown female Jack Russell right here. You know, she is on the thinner side. She's not super built out, but she is strong. She's got a muscular body and she's about a little under 15 pounds. So they typically say with any of the research you do on this dog you're looking at 12 to 20 pounds for a full grown full bred make sure you remember that a full bred jack russell terrier so does that mean it's always 12 to 20 pounds absolutely not it can definitely go outside of those ranges i've seen tons of you guys comment or even have your you know profile picture with way bigger jack russells than luna here you know some of you got male jack russells that make her look tiny real built strong muscular dogs that's perfectly fine but in general you know let me back up a little bit for you guys here but here she is you know she's she's doing good she's all right that's the size of your dog here or your jack russell now you know if you got a 26 pounder but they're fit and they're muscular nothing wrong with that if they're on the lighter side like luna's a female so they don't get quite as big, that's okay too. If you're way outside of that 12 to 20 pound range by a long shot and you haven't spoken to a vet, might be a good idea to take the time to speak to a vet just to make sure you're within you know, healthy weight ranges. You got the hip lines showing. They don't look obese. Um, they don't look too skinny or malnutrition. Just the basic common sense type things when it comes to this dog. You know, let me set her down for one second so I can go over the rest of this video. All right guys, now that I have Luna set down for a second to give me a little bit of you know space to discuss the rest of this video, I wanna make sure we touch on a few other things. So. First off, there's other impacts that go into the size of a full bred Jack Russell. You have the breeding or the bloodlines, you have their diet, you have the amount of exercise that they're going to get or be provided, and obviously all of these make a difference. If you're not going to follow like guidelines on nutrition and eating, it's probably going to be very easy for them to get over the recommended weight range. If they don't get much exercise, which is something I stress in all of my videos that they need all of the time, it's also going to be easy for them to get outside of that weight range. On the flip side, if they're getting everything that they need, they're probably gonna stay pretty slender and pretty small. You know, you're talking about a dog like this, about this tall, not huge, 12 to 20 pounds, like I said. Now, when it comes to the gear and everything, you know, you're basically getting, you're getting a lap dog, but not a pocket dog. We're not looking at a Chihuahua. And again, I am talking about a full Brad Jack Russell Terrier. 
but you are not getting even a medium sized dog. You know, in fact, every single time I order something for Luna, whether it's off Amazon, Chewy, wherever it is, it almost never fails that the size small works. So I never have to use extra small and I never use medium. But if it's a small harness, leash, collar, almost always universally works for her when it comes to sizing. The only item I would say does not work into that uh, set of recommendations is a muzzle. Those need more fitted properly because they go around the snout, they go back behind the ears. So you need to actually take measurements for that if you need one. A lot of times vets will require them for certain dogs that you know get a little aggressive in public or get anxiety. If you never need one, then don't worry about it. When it comes to the crate itself, small dog crate, you don't have to get one like I have to get for my dog Graham, which are like $200 crates, just a small dog crate. I always have my recommendations down in the description box below, guys, so feel free to check those out. I think my leashes, harnesses, crates, treats, toys, everything is always in that. Feel free to check that out, but you need a small dog crate. Everything is small with this dog. It's pretty awesome from that aspect. If you're looking for a small dog, that is what you're going to get. The only other big thing I want to make sure I stress about a Jack Russell Terrier that I would assume most of you would agree with is, while you're getting a 12 to 20 pound dog on average and not very tall, this is a big dog at heart, big dog in the mind, and about as fearless as a grizzly bear. So everything about them size-wise, yes, they're a small dog. Everything about them personality-wise is a big dog. So if you do live in a small apartment or you're worried about their overall sizing where you're at, keep those things in mind. They need their exercise. They need room to move around. They're just they have the energy and they have that big dog mindset. So you need to be prepared for that. And you do need to keep tabs on their weight. You know, a dog that's not getting what they need can easily fall outside of those ranges and you want your dog to stay healthy. So make sure you're always keeping tabs on that. You know, when it comes to any of you that you have a Jack Russell and they're outside of that, I'm not saying that that's not healthy. These are just like a rough range guideline at best. Plenty, I bet there's 30 pound Jack Russells that are 100% healthy. I guarantee it because I've seen your guys' pictures and comments before. So with that being said, be sure to comment on this video too. We love to hear from you guys. You know, what size is your dog? If it's a Jack Russell, purebred, like we said. Weight, height, give us some information here so everybody else can kind of get an idea of what they're getting themselves into. Again, if you haven't subscribed and you would like to, do so now. It just takes a second of your time. Be sure to hit that notification button so you can check out our videos every Sunday at 11 a.m. Never forget to check out TerrierOwner.com. And on your way out, if you haven't, give us that thumbs up because it helps us so much on these videos. Otherwise, guys, we will see you next Sunday at 11 a.m. in the newest video. We appreciate you, and we hope you're having a great summer. Take care.